Hi, this is Katie Ethington with Business 483B, and I'd like to talk today about the Brentwood Associates case. Uh, just a quick summary of the case. It's concerning a company called Brentwood Associates, and what they, um, what their company does is they like to turn a profit by investing in other companies, staying in there for a few years, and then exiting so that they can purchase something else. At this point, they have made a great investment in a company called Zoe's, which has done very well in their uh, in the years in which they've been with them. However, they are looking to exit so that they can choose a new investment at this point. Now with this one, they have three options. They can either sell it publicly through an IPO, they can sell it privately to either a financial or a strategic buyer, or they can hold the company longer and see if its growth continues and then uh, readdress the issue in one to two years. So with this one, uh, my original hypothesis was that they should hold it. However, after speaking with my group, I do believe that they should actually just go ahead and sell it to a financial buyer at this point. And the reason why I believe this is because really the way that Brentwood Associates works is they're, you know, they're not trying to take on a ton of risk. They want their company to do well and they want to have a good reputation. However, you know, they've been in this in Zoe's for several years, and this is kind of their pattern. They like to get in and out, and that's where they found success. So with this one, I think that it's best to go with the most conservative option, which would be to sell it to a financial buyer. It doesn't earn as much when it comes to the gains. However, they'll still turn a profit, which is why I believe they should go with it. Now, the other two options, which I honestly think are both good options. However, the one that I'm leaning against the most would be the IPO. The reason being is just Zoe's has been doing well, but it still is a very small company and there's a lot of cost and a lot of risk and a lot of time that would need to go in to getting it to trade publicly. And I don't think that they're ready for it at this point. Now with this one, the other option would be to hold it. Now the reason why I was originally leaning towards this one is if they did continue to focus on Zoe's and continue to grow it rather than trying to divert their their attention to selling it, then I believe that they could get Zoe's into a much better position and then do the IPO and they can make a uh, much more substantial gain. Now, my biggest con with this one, the reason why I eventually turned against it is there is a lot of opportunity cost involved, especially if Zoe's uh, growth was to either flatten or decline. So I eventually ended up kind of leaning away for, for that one. Now, as I said, all of these were good options. Eventually I just decided that if they sell it to a financial buyer, yeah, they're not going to earn as much as they could with the other two options. However, it is safer and it does lock in their gains and it basically frees them up to find something new, which is what I believe that their business, um, business needs to do to continue with their pattern. And I uh, thank you for listening for me. And that is my analysis.